the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Steve. I'm here to show you Isofarin Guard. This game is currently available to get through Pledge Manager, but that Pledge Manager closes at the end of October 2021. So if you're watching this when it hits live, because I think this is dropping Saturday on One Stop Co-op Shop channel, you probably only have like a week or so to back. So I apologize for late notice, but I wanted to get this in front of you to help you make a decision. So what this game is about, it is an open world narrative adventure is what it comes down to it. You can go wherever you want to go explore what you want and you'll be drawing chips from a bag, having combat, going fishing, going mining, all sorts of fun stuff like that. But anyway, let's jump down to the table and see what it's about. And here we are at the big world of Isofarian Guard that we get to explore. So this is a giant, giant board. It is, I mean, I apologize, I put it sideways, but I wanted to show you how big it was. There's a lots of different nodes around the board, so you can go to these different points and explore and see what's there. Uh, they are also regional in the sense that if you go to up the north, you might find enemies of a certain type down up there. If you go down south, a different type down there, in addition to the economy is going to change. So as you move from region to region, you kind of get a feel for what the world is like in this environment. And I'm not going to go into the narrative elements of the game. I'm going to leave that up to you to explore when you, when you dive into it, if you choose to buy it. I'm going to leave this as much uh, spoiler-free as possible. So instead, I'm going to explain the game from a mechanical standpoint and kind of create a simulation, if you would say, uh, and I, to give you an idea of what the game is like without showing you specific details in that regard. So like, I will be going to different points on the map and enemies will pop up, but I have no idea if the enemies would actually pop up in that region or not. Also, I'm going to leave some of the other stuff available to you to find out. Okay, so how the game works is we're going to assume that we started off in Silni, this, this town of Silni. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to assume that we actually have a save point. And you can mark a save point with this fancy uh, fire campfire token. And we're going to adventure out of Silni. Now, the important thing around Silni are the color of these nodes around us. So you can see that there's orange ones here and kind of uh, more white or yellowish ones next to it. The orange ones are the entrances into the town itself. Now, I'm not going to show you this, but you can actually grab a different board, a smaller board that zooms into that town. So you can actually move about the town and explore it. But we're going to assume that we've already been in town. We're ready to start an adventure. We're going to leave town and see what happens. Now, the game does come with miniatures that are, with, are, are paired with two characters. We're going to be using Gregory and Alec for this playthrough, which are the same characters to start with Chapter 1. You'll probably see these on a number of different playthroughs, but we're going to jump ahead to Chapter 3. So these characters have been around for a while. They're weathered, they're more veteran, and we're going to uh, stronger battles to kind of show you kind of how the battles can unfold. We're going to assume that we're going to start from here, and we're going to adventure from Node 32, and we're going to go to Node 31. So we can take our miniature move out there, but I don't actually have the miniature on me, so instead I'll show you something else the game comes with. The game actually comes with these uh these chips to represent each character so we have alec and gregory and it does this because you don't have to stick together as a party now i highly recommend you do <laughs> because the game isn't isn't exactly easy <laughs> but you can separate separate yourself so i'm going to use these two markers to denote that we're moving to uh 31 and you can so we'll move to 31 and we'll go ahead and draw from the uh the event bag so this game comes with lots of bags and lots of chips for sure. So these bags are awesome. They're huge, they're really well constructed. Um, but in the bag, you're gonna be placing different chips in there. You're gonna be placing a single skull, double skull, and three skull chips. So these are gonna denote different types of enemies you encounter. And there's a book, so you'll draw from these and I'll tell you, hey, the double skull means this enemy or this number of enemies, whatever it is, at that node. In addition to that, you'll also be having these compass tokens. And there'll be two of them in the bag as well. And what these mean is you can either choose not to engage in battle at, at that time, or you can choose to engage in a specific battle of that choice. And you might want to do that in case I'm going for a certain equipment and I know I need an item drop and, and there's an, an enemy in that area that I know if I get rid of them, I'll get that, that specific item. For example, a wolf, wolf pelt if I want to take care of a wolf. But yes, I will be putting these in the bag, and we'll draw one, and we'll see what happens. So yeah, we'll, so we move to that node, we reach into our bag, we mix up the chips, draw one out, and we're going to get a double skull. So I'll go to the book, see what that is, and I'll set the board, and we'll see how this works. 
Okay, that token meant we are facing two enemies at the same time. And in addition to that, we have different rows. So we're going to have the Clayhorn in the front row. So this is the Clayhorn. Looks like a big, ferocious beast. Going to have four attack, three defense, three activations, and 18 health. Taking up the rear row is going to be the Plain Strider with four attack, two defense, three action points, and 13 health. And so how it's going to work is we can only deal with the characters or the enemies in the front row. row. Once they're eliminated, then we can work in the back row, but they're reactivating at the same time or the same round. So hopefully we can make it through the Clayhorn quickly so we can deal with this Plain Strider. Okay, we have the board set up. We have our Clayhorn down here in the front row, the Plain Strider up in the rear row back here. And then we have our characters. We have Alec and Gregory. Let's take a quick look at what they do. So Alec is rested from the end, so he's at full health right now at 22 with 4 attack and 2 defense. So not quite a lot of defense in there. We might need to protect him, but he does have this uh, this bread. So we can use that one point to give us a boost of 3 defense tokens, so if we need a pinch. But he is our alchemist, so he's got tons of potions. He's going to have uh, some tonics, a crimson tonic, cerulean elixir, golden potion... He can combine them if we chose to do so. And he's got two speaking stones, purification and reinforcement. And we'll go over th in these more detail as, as we play the game. I'm not going to go into the abilities now. But you'll see all of them during the play. So, And then let's jump over to Grigory. Because Grigory, he is also at 22 health. He's got four attack, four defense. Um, he's got some nice armor here. Uh, the important thing, though, he does have his age drink, which is going to refresh all of his... AP chips. That's the gray and the green ones. And draw two chips. That's pretty nice. We need it in a pinch. And he has his dash, his feint, advance, adjust stance, and an aid provisions and cross slash as his abilities. So we're ready to start the battle. And let's go ahead and start with uh, Grigory to begin the game. So Grigory, we only have two action points starting out. So we're going to start off slow. Um, hopefully we last long enough to build up that because we're going to need it to take out both these people. So both these enemies. So let's see what we get. The first token we draw is a sword. Second one we draw is a health chip. And this is a purple one, so that's really nice. It doesn't count towards our draw. We'll draw another one, and we get a shield. The purple one would heal us, but we're at full health, so we don't have to worry about that. So we have a single sword and a single shield to use on this turn. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put this purple chip up here as a reminder that we did that. Those are our, uh, our bonuses we had. Um, now, Grigory's ability is Chain. A lot of his abilities have Chain. What that means is not the first card you activate, but every other card after that will automatically gain the Chain effect. And so what I want to do is I really like this Adjust Stance here. So I'll take a closer look here. It lets you flip one, on, one non-active card, which is nice to set up stuff, but the main thing is the bottom Chain effect, getting one green action point. So I really want to trigger that. So I want that to be my second ability. That's going to take one of my shields. So then I really only have an attack to do. And I need to do an attack that's going to um, use an ability. So I think what I want to do for that is I think I'll just kind of prep for the long haul. I'm going to do my advance ability. So this is going to take one of those my attack chip here. And it's going to spend one of those eight action points. So I only have one left. And it's going to add a green attack to Grigory's bag. I don't do the chain effect for this one. So we'll gain a green token in his bag. Now the second thing I'll do is I want to do this adjust dance card. This one um, says doesn't require any AP, which is nice, but I flip one on non-active card, which is a card that doesn't have chips on it. And then the important thing is I get to chain to gain one AP. So I'll just do, do that right away. So let's put that down, put my shield on it. Um, and then I'm going to gain one of these green action cubes. So now I have two action cubes and I can flip one of these cards. I do like this feint. It is nice, but I think I might flip it over to the other side because this will give us uh, more attack power and I think I'm going to need that to try to go through these characters quicker. So I'll flip that over and that is going to be all I can do with Gregory. So he's kind of just preparing for the battle. He still has, if I zoom up here, so it has his two action points here, but that's okay. We'll we'll deal with it later. Okay, let's move on to Alex's turn. So Alec also has two action cubes. So he'll be drawing two chips from his bag. So let's see what he gets. The first chip he's going to draw is 
Ooh, look at this. A sword and shield. So this is a purple chip. Does not count towards draw. Draw another one. He gets oh, his healing. <laughs> so unfortunately, I, I don't want to see those this early. <laughs> I was hoping to wait to draw those later. Um, a shield. That is a black one. So we still need to draw one more. Um, oh, he got his evasion. This is also purple chip. Man, he's getting all his good stuff right now. Um, and then we get his attack filing. Okay, so a lot of chips there. We needed to get two black chips out of the bag, but we did draw purples, which we keep uh, replenished. It doesn't count for our draw. So this will go heal us. This will let's dodge attack. And then we've got um, two swords and two shields to deal with. Okay, I want to try to build up our offensive potential. So what I'm going to do is I want to use his golden potion for his first card here. Um, that is going to use up our sword and shield. It's going to use up one of the two action points we have. And it looks a little weird with the green screen. I apologize for that. But it's going to gain one green action point for Alec. And then it's got the empower. Alec gains one green action point. What does that mean? And we're going to do that. I'll show you in a second how that works. So this is how we use empower. We have to use the combine ability he has. So trigger empower effect on one card. It's going to cost us one of those shields. So we do have a shield. And one AP to spend. But the nice thing is, by doing that, it's going to allow us to give uh, Grigory another green action point. And so another green action point will be um, allow him to draw more chips. So we're just kind of building up, getting ready for the attack. So let's go ahead and see. We've got one more action point we can spend and one more chip in my hand. Let's see what we can do with that. So I'm going to put uh, these two uh, positive effects on here, the heal chip and then the evasion chip down. But I think... I, let's try to do a little bit of damage. We haven't done any damage. We're doing all this preparation. I still have a chip left over. What I want to do is I want to go up to his primary attack right here, his silver flame, put it on there, and it lets me do a regular attack. And what that means is four attack, and I have to attack the Clayhorn. So let's go over to the Clayhorn real quick. The Clayhorn has only three defense. So that's a difference of one. So, hey, first blood, one damage to the Clayhorn. In addition to that, because I did attack him, I can go gear up the aggro token to Alec. So this is going to be part of tiebreakers and other effects to an AI deck. So our our support um, potion maker is going to be the target attack, not Gregory, but <laughs> that's okay. I'd rather do some damage this round. So that's both of our characters, but before we finish, we'll go ahead and refresh our action points. So move those up there, and then Gregory is going to move all his up there, and then we're going to move on to the enemy's turn. And we go in order. So the first one's going to be going is uh, the Clayhorn. And then we'll do the Plane Strider. So first thing he's going to do is he's going to flip his card and see what it says. Choose target highest defense, which is going to be Grigory. The tiebreaker would be the aggro. So he's going to attack Grigory. Because Grigory does have four defense. So attack target is going to spend one of his two action points. For plus two with impaling horn. So is it gonna bring his attack up to from a four to a six? An attack ignores target's defense. Oh no! Oh, that's brutal. Oh, we got impaled. Oh man. Yeah, four to six. So that's six attack. Um going up to looking at Gregory's sheet here. Ignore his defense. So yeah, just straight up six damage. So it's two up here and another four. One, two, three, down to 16. <laughs> so, oh man, that was painful. But luckily that is all the Clayhorn's doing. <laughs> Let's move on to the, the Plane Strider. So Plane Strider, and draw his card, see what he's doing. He's gonna choose target highest action point, which is also Grigory, because he's got four. Attack target, he's going to use one of those three AP. Uh, tail Lash, uh, plus one attack. And so it's going to be attack of, he looks like he's got attack of four, so it'll be attack of five. Five to Grigory's four defense is going to be one hit. So he's going to take another damage there. And then the horrible thing about this is exhaust one action point from the target. No! So one of these tokens gets spent. So that's that's horrible. But at least now we do get to end the turn. So that is all the uh, Plane Strider is doing currently. Okay, so that was the enemy round. Now we go into cleanup. 
We'll go ahead and refresh all of their action points on both those enemies. So the first thing we'll do is we will discard all of our chips. Unfortunately, Alec did have an evasion. He never got to use it. <laughs> we will remove this from the Golden Potion. And we'll move it from the Combine as well. Now, the key is, let's look at Combine close up. If you look at Combine, it does have the symbol in the corner. Anytime I pull a chip off it, I will flip it over. So now that's going to become a Rema Blade. So it says, uh, if passive or secondary is active, attack one enemy for plus two attack. Both are active, attack all enemies for plus one attack. So that's going to be nice. Now, in contrast to that, I did pull off the Golden Potion. But if you notice, the Golden Potion does not have that symbol in the corner. So I do not get to flip it. I need to find some other way to flip it to increase its abilities. So, and let's give one off our, don't forget our Silver Flame as well. Removes the token. Likewise, Grigory. We remove this Adjust Stance, which is going to flip over. So it goes from Adjust Stance into Parry. So this one lets him gain an Evasion token. And potentially add some defense to your ally's bag. And then we also flip over Advance. So Advance becomes Critical Strike. Attack one enemy for plus two. And potentially draw more chips, which may be very, very useful. If I can trip, trip that off. So, okay. Um... Then we get to upgrade our, our stones. And I apologize, in the previous part of the video, I did not have my actual crystals on the boards. I did run add them here. So these will keep track of their active or inactive. So they're both available to us. And actually, speaking of that, let's look at them in closer detail because this might come up quickly. So I do have eight provisions on Gregory. Let's him draw two chips and heal Gregory and ally by one health. So pretty straightforward. And then cross slash. It says attack all enemies for plus one. So um, that's going to be very handy trying to take out these guys quickly. Likewise, we do have uh, Alec with reinforcement. Attack one enemy for plus one. And while active, he does get a defense boost, which he desperately needs. And the other ability he does have is purification. Remove one negative token uh, chip from Alec and Ally's bag. Okay. So we flipped our cards, we moved the, scene, the stuff over, we are ready to start the next hero turn. This time let's have Alec go first. So he'll be drawing three chips because he has three action points. So let's mix them up and see what we get. The first chip we draw is, oh look at that, purple sword and shield. That does not count to our draw. We're gonna draw three more chips. We get this standard sword. We get, uh, looks like a double shield. And we get a single sword, and looks like that is it. So three blacks, and the purple doesn't count, so that's four four chips. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is, in this game, if you ever have two shields or two swords, you can turn them into the other resource. So I could turn two shields into a sword, or two swords into a shield. Okay, I, since I drew that purple sword shield combo, I really like this golden potion. I think I'm going to do that again. So I'll spend one action point, and he will gain one green action point in return for that. So that's just building up his strength there. Okay, I can't do Empower because my Rhyme Blade is flipped. So I have no way of doing that this turn. Now, the other thing I want to do is I do want to use my Rhyme Blade for an attack. I think I absolutely need to do that. I don't have a good way of, of knocking down his defense. So I think it's now as, as good time as any. So let's take a closer look at that. And it says here, if passive ability is active, which currently is because you're using the Golden Potion, I can attack one enemy for plus two attack. So let's totally do that. So I'll put one sword on there. It's going to cost one of the two, uh, one of my AP. I've got two left. And I get to attack an enemy. So let's attack that Clayhorn for plus two. So I'll come to look at our board. We do have an attack of four. Plus two brings up to six. Going up to our Clayhorn... We have his defense at three. So that's a difference of three. Look at that, look at that. One, two, three. Good job, Alec. Take him down. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Probably not a whole lot more, because I do have a double shield and a single sword left to use. Okay, because Grigory took a big hit last turn, I think I'm gonna use my Crimson Tonic. So I'll turn these two shields into a sword do the Crimson Tonic, it'll cost one action point to do so. Go one action point left. This will add a green heart to Grigory's bag. 
So hopefully that will help heal him a little bit. And then I have one extra point left. Um, I'm going to do two attacks this turn with that. First one I want to do is I totally want to do my reinforcement. Attack one enemy for plus one attack. So again, looking at our attack stats here, we do currently have four, so it'll be a five. Going over to our Clayhorn, five minus his three is another two. So another two damage to him, he's down to 12. So, so far, so good. And last but not least, I do have a single sword left over. So let's go ahead and activate his standard attack, which is a four attack. Again, to his three defense, that's going to bring him down one more hit point to 11. Okay, that will end Alex's turn. He does have AP left over, but I can't really use it for anything. That's okay. Let's see what Gr Grigory does. So now Grigory only has three action points because of the last time the, uh, the Clayhorns exhausted him. So I'm only going to draw three chips. The first one is going to be a single attack. Then we have a shield. And last but not least, drawing... Oh, not last but not least. That's a green sword. So we're going to draw another one on top of that. Hey, there's a health. So already we're healing Grigory. And we draw a double sword. So it actually turned out much better in our favor. There's a lot of green chips in that bag. So for that green health, we're going to go up to 16. So feeling a little bit better. And that is, now remember we do have three action points to use. So let's go look at his board and what he can do. I'll go ahead and put that green chip here because we know we've used it. And let's see if we can't lay into the clay horn. Okay, I don't have the action point to do what I really want to do, but I can still make this work. I'm going to play uh, one token on the dash ability. So dash says, discard the next card from one enemy. So it's just going to be used, use another action point for that, to, uh, let's get rid of a card off the clay horn. So I'll discard the top card for that. Okay. And then, now that I've done that, I want to use my double sword to do my critical strike. So this one is going to let me attack one enemy for plus two attack. And then because I did an effect already, I can chain it to draw two chips from Grigory's bag. So let's go ahead and do that effect. That's gonna, I don't have any more action points, but that's okay. We'll draw some more chips and see what we get. The first draw we're going to get is another double sword. Okay. Second one we're going to get is a single sword. So all the swords in the world, but no action points. <laughs> no. But I think we still have an answer here because we still have his age drink. It might be worth doing that this turn. Okay, I thought it over. And you know what? I think I do want to use his age drink. Refresh all action points and draw two chips. So we're going to spend that to get all our action points back. And we'll draw two more chips. I don't think I'm going to use the additional chips, but the nice thing is I do have a plan for everything I'm doing here. And I draw into a two swords. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to the board and see what we can do. Now, with now that I have four actions, I can do a lot of stuff with that. I am going to do basically the rest of my abilities. It's going to spend two action points. It's spent a sword and a shield to do preparation. Preparation is add one green um, punch action token to Gregory's bag. And the nice thing is because I already chained, I get to add another. So he's going to gain two of these attack, increased attack boost to his bag. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. I have two action points left. I do have two swords. I'm going to do parry. So parry is going to let him gain a green evasion token. So, and then I get to add a bolster to a, a ally's bag. So I'm going to help defend um, Alec in the future. Okay. So that's going to take his two attack. And I don't have any more action points left. But the nice thing is, I still have a sword. Actually, multiple swords. I'll use one of those swords to do his standard attack. So standard attack, he's at four. Looking over at our clay horn, he's got three defense. So that is one more hit. So we're down to only 10 health on the clay horn. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, two attack chips left over, but I can't really do anything with them. So I'll just discard them right here. Um, I think there's one other thing I want to do, and that's going to use this cross slash. Cross slash is attack all enemies for plus one. It's going to use that so you can bring his attack from a four to five. Five attack, looking at the clay horn. Five attack to his three defense. He's taking two more wounds, so drop him down to eight. 
And then going up to our Plane Strider, that will hit him as well with two, minus is five, is three, so we'll knock him down to ten. Okay, look at that. Wheel him down. Let's refresh our action points. So that's going to bring all his available to him. Same thing with Alec. And now we go to the Clayhorn's turn. So Clayhorn, let's see what he is going to do. Draw his card. And it is... Oh, uh, looks like lowest defense or aggro. So it looks like... Um, oh, you know, I forgot to move the, the aggro to Gregory because he attacked last. But it doesn't matter because the lowest defense is Alec. So he's going up to Alec. So attack target for trample one of his three AP. And it's going to be a plus one attack. So it's going to be five attack with this guy. Because he's at four. So five attack. Looking over at Alex's board. Uh, five attack minus his two defense is three hit points. So two, three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Taking some hits. Taking some hits. <laughs> and guess what? Repeat trample. Oh no! <laughs> He's just gonna run him over constantly. <laughs> no! Alec, no! <laughs> Poor Alec. <laughs> so he does have two more action points to spend. So each of those is going to be a four attack. Attack coming at him. Four attack minus two defense. So another two. And another two. So he's already down to 15. <laughs> so just like that. Oh, poor. Poor Alex. So, but luckily that is going to end the turn. So no more clay horn on that one. Let's move up to our plane strider. So let's see what he does. Flip over his card. He's going to go after the highest action points, which with their tides, so he's going for the aggro, which is Grigory. So he's going for Grigory this time. Using a tail lash. I'm going to take one of his three action points and plus one attack. So it's be a five attack. And five attack to Grigory. Grigory's defense is four, so he's taking the hit. And then the horrible thing is, guess what? Exhaust one AP from target. Oh no! But good thing is, that's all he does. He's gonna end his turn. Okay, so now for those enemies, they get the action points back. We go into the cleanup step. So for the cleanup step, um, these green tokens are going to go back to the supply. Remember, the green ones are only temporary bonuses. So this one and this one are going back to the supply. And then we discard this for preparation and flip it over. And same thing with Critical Strike. That gets flipped over. And Perry is also going to flip over here. Discard this chip here. And likewise for Alec, he does have Crimson Tonic and Golden Potion. And the Remit Blade. Remit Blade is going to flip because he's got the flip symbol. So that flips over. And he gets the standard token back here. The standard attack token back. Okay. Then we go on to the stones. So first thing is, if ending has been exhausted, we go back to active. But we don't have that. So instead, we're going to just take our cross slash and put it down in the exhausted spot. So effectively, every other turn we can use those abilities. Likewise, the reinforcement is also going to go to the exhausted spot. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. I just caught this. While active, plus one defense. So actually, that trample would have done one less attack, and I would have done three attacks on Gregory. He is actually up three more health. So sorry about that. I didn't. I didn't catch that. Okay, that is it for that round. Let's go on to the next round. So let's see who wants to go first. So I think Alec will go first. He doesn't have a whole lot of combat potential right now, but I think we're going to use him to boost Gregory to see if we can't can uh, help him out. Because I think Gregory's going to be a main attacker this time. Oh, let's get rid of this token too, just for now. So he's got four action points. He only has two chips in his bag. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a wound to put all of these chips back into my bag first. So I'll do that, and then I will draw them out. And it looks like I'm drawing four chips. So let's go ahead and draw them one at a time. The first chip we're going to draw is, oh, nice, a purple sword shield. Then we have a shield. So that's going to count for one of our four, a sword. And then we have a heart, so it's going to heal. That's great. That's a purple, doesn't count. Evasion, which is excellent. Definitely need, we could use that for the trample. <laughs> then, hey, a bolster. Sweet. Thank you, Gregory, for giving that to him. I still have... I've only drawn two black chips, so I still need two more. Double shield. 
And then finally, a single sword. So plenty of resources at our disposal. So with that heart we draw, drew, we're going to increase his health up to 18. And then we can put that in our bonuses section. We do have an evasion chip. I'm going to set this slightly to the side so I can still see it because I'll forget, trust me. <laughs> and we get plus one defense for this round. So that's awesome. Okay, let's see what we want to do with the rest of our chips. I think the big thing is I want to try to empower again to help out Gregory. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a shield on this Cerulean Elixir. Cost one for action points. And let's just add a green sword or a green shield to Alex's or Ally's bag. And I think Gregory likes more attacks, attack options. So I'm going to give him a green sword in his bag. And then let's go ahead and trigger the golden potion. It's another action point that's going to gain uh, AP for Alec. And let's go ahead and do the empower effect to give it to an ally as well. So Gregory will have another action point. But in order to do that, we do have to trigger the, the combine down here. So that's going to be, unfortunately I have a two shields, so it's a little bit wasted. And it's going to cost one action point to do it to trigger that effect. So now we're up to only two actions left, and we have two swords. So let's actually we can do we can do everything. Let's do everything that we can. So let's go and spend one action here for one action point. That's going to add a green healing to Alec or Ally's bag. Um, I'm more worried for Gregory, so let's go and give him a green healing token as well. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and try to do an attack with a silver flame. So I've got four attack. Looking over at our Clayhorn, has three defense, so it's one hit to him. And that will make Alec the, the aggro for now, until Gregory goes, hopefully. But I think it's a pretty good turn. I'm pretty happy with that. So boosted up Gregory for his draw and dealt one damage and just prepared. Okay, let's go on to Gregory's draw. So Gregory is drawing four chips. Basically, most of his bag is good stuff. So I kind of want to draw into some of the black chips we've had. So he's also going to take a damage uh, to get all of his chips back. And then we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and draw them one at a time and see what we get. We're going to get the first one is a double sword. Okay, it's going to count to our four. We're going to get another double sword. Wow, lots of swords. Sweet. And we get a single sword. That's three of our four, and the last but not least, oh, nope, not last but not least, you gotta evade. And that is a green one, does not count to our draw. Hey, a green heal, that also doesn't count to our draw. A increase the attack, so that also doesn't count, so the last chip is lasting for a while. Another green sword, wow. And we get our regular sword. So all the swords in the world. And uh, looks like we've got some healing and stuff. So let's go ahead and to go to the board and take care of some of that. So because we drew that green healing chip, that is going to increase our health by one. That's great. Uh, the other chips we drew was a strengthened chip. So it gives him plus one attack. And the evade. I'll put next to it. Remember, he's got to evade. Okay. That is basically all he has for that, uh, that those effects. Um... If we look at the rest of the stuff, I just have swords. Just all the swords in the world. Two double swords and three single swords. But nice thing is I can always turn two for one. So I still have options on the board. Okay, let's see what we can do to deal with these enemies. The first thing I want to do, I think, is let's do aid provisions. This is going to let me draw two chips and heal Gregory and ally by one. So they're both going to heal up one. And the nice thing is we'll draw two more chips. Let's see where we get. First one we draw into is a purple heart. Nice, he heals again up to 17. Doing great there. And then he's gonna draw one more or two more chips. There's an attack. And I'm hoping for a shield, hoping for a shield, hoping for a shield. No shield, okay, okay. I tried. But that's okay, I can still work with what we have. So let me go ahead and put that underneath. I already did the heal. Because I really want to do this adjust stance is what I want. Yes, I definitely do a just stance. So let's go ahead and spend two swords to do that. Um, 
I don't need the AP, honestly. I'm just going to use it to, to flip a card. So I think what I want to do is I want to flip this advanced card over to his critical strike. Because with this additional attack, I want to hit him as hard as I can. So let's put that down. Okay. So now I've got all my chain abilities ready to go. Let's go ahead and do um, the feint. Feint is going to require a shield, which it didn't get. I can use this double sword for a shield and a, and a sword with one AP. That's going to add one break to an enemy. So what that means is I'm going to grab one of these minus one defense tokens. This is what it looks like here. And that is going to be added to our enemy, our Clayhorn. Make him a little bit weaker, easier to hit. Okay. So now, because I did that, I do get to do the chain effect. Let's attack one enemy for plus zero. His attack is currently, uh, looks like it's at four. Yeah. At four. Oh, no, four plus one. Because of the bolst because of the strengthen. So it's actually at five currently. Five. Looking at our enemy, five minus three is two. Boom! Two damage. How about that? No, minus two. Because of, because of this. So one more. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then let's see. Oh, let's see if we can save that attack. We might be able to get through this enemy. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. If I do cross strike, that'll be another two swords and an attack and one action point to do it. Attack one enemy for plus one. Okay. So that is actually going to be plus one plus the strengthens two. Two plus my attack of four is six. Six attack minus his two defense is going to be four. Look at that, four hit points. Boom, zero. Took him out. No more clay horn. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now let's look at what I've got left. Oh no! I wanted to do this critical strike so bad! <laughs> no! I need one more sword. I don't have to regain another sword. No, I don't! Oh, okay, that's okay. I can't be too upset because I, I'm pretty happy with what happened. Let's just do, because I have one sword left over, um, let's just do his standard attack which is still strengthened at plus one, so it's actually five attack. Looking at our uh, plane strider, five attack minus two defense is three. Um, he's gonna be down to seven. Okay. Oh, I wanted to take him, I wanted to do that super strong attack. Oh, this is so close, so close. Okay. And let's go ahead, I got two action points left, can't do anything with that. Let's go ahead and refresh those. Let's move on to the enemy turn. So, Clayhorn's gone, he's out of here. Move him from the board there. Let's do the Plane Strider. Plane Strider, let's draw his card, see what he's doing. Lowest health or aggro. So currently the lowest health is Grigory, and he's also aggro, by the way. Let's forget I moved the token over. Attack target, one, at one AP, quick strike, plus two. His attack is currently four, plus two is six. Six minus Grigory's four is going to be two hits on him. And then repeat quick strike until actions are exhausted. Okay. So it'll be another, he's got two more action points. So it's an, that's going to be another, what I say, five, oh no, wait. It's six minus his four. Yeah, yeah, it's another two each. Duh. One, two, one, two. Okay. Down to 11 on Gregory. Okay. And that is going to be it for the plane strider. Let's go into the cleanup. So we'll refresh his action points here. Let's zoom out. And then we'll discard this if token from um, our, well, yeah, our enemy because he's not there anymore. These green chips. Oh, wait, I forgot. He's got evasion. I don't, man. He'll go up with two health <laughs> for that. All right. That would be the evasion effect, that first attack. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab all these chips. They are going back in to their respect back in supply. The rest of these are going to be discarded. And like we said before, anything that's on these cards are going to flip them over. So we'll flip all those over. And then this is going to become active. We can do our cross slash again. A provision is going to be um, exhausted still. Looking at Alec, he has. One green chip is going to go back into the stack. 
and then these purples will fall down. He's going to flip his combine over. So I did that. And it looks like the rest of these chips are going to be just discarded for him. Okay. Okay, cool. That is that. Let's move on to the next person to go. So we do have Alec, who's got quite a few chips to draw. I might have him go and see if he can't. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Grigory can probably defeat the Plane Strider on his turn. Feeling confident on that. So I think I want Alec to go first because Alec, on his turn, he could probably add some some boost chips to Grigory's bag. And so on future battles, that will come up. So I think that's what we're going to focus on. Let's have Grigory go first. And looking at his, he has a ton of action points. He's got five, looks like. Uh, and a reminder is you can only have five uh, max things in, in his character. So, for example, if I would get th five green action points, I couldn't gain a six. Also, if I gained uh, five green single sword chips, I can't gain a six. So just keep in mind that is a limit, including the bad chips, which is good too, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do his thing, and let's see what he has in his bag. Because Gregory only has three chips in his bag, he is going to take a wound to take all of his chips and and discard, or put them back in his bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw those five chips one at a time and see what we get. So I'm hoping, yeah, I'm ho actually I can work with anything I draw, I think, at this point. I'm not too worried what I draw. So there's a sword. That's going to be one of the five. Uh, this is a purple chip, sword shield, so that does not count. This is the sword. That's going to be two of the five. Uh, we have another purple chip, sword shield combo, so that doesn't count. Uh, we have a pur purple evasion, so that's great. Still doesn't count. Still need to draw three more chips. Double shield, that will count. I got two more chips to draw. A single shield, and then last but not least, a single sword. Okay, cool. I like that draw. So I put the evasion chip right here, remind me. I've got that effect. And I want to do as many as many uh, boosts as I can. So let's go ahead and do the Crimson Tonic. So it's going to spend one of our action points. And it's going to add a green token to Alec or Ally's bag. And Alec is actually doing okay. I'm going to actually try to heal Gregory. We'll give him a green health. Okay. And then I want to use the shield to do the Cerulean Elixir to... I <laughs> Gregory really needs shields. I did not think this through very well. So I'm going to give him a green shield with that ability in his bag. Um, I could do the Golden Potion. He probably will just because I can. I don't really need it. I'm going to take an action point that's going to give him another action point. Um, just, be just because I can, of course. And the big one is, let's do the Rama Blade for one. Using an action point there. It's going to attack an enemy for plus two. Plus two. So his attack, looking at his board, is currently a four, so it'll be a six. A six attack, going over to our Strider. Six attack minus a two defense is four. Down to three. Look at that. Okay. Uh, can you do it? Can you do it? You might be able to do it. Because I do have... I don't can't use anything else on the board. But I do have my basic attack with a single sword. So it's going to be a four attack. Going over to the plain strider with a two defense. Is another two hit. No! It's down to one health! <laughs> almost. Almost, almost, almost. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could take him out because I put all his chips in Gregory's bag. It'd be really nice to not draw anything from it because next battle they will be in his bag. I will be guaranteed not to draw them. But, say la vie. Let's move on to Gregory. He can probably finish him off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, I can't do it. I have my reinforcement exhausted. <sighs> okay. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Here we go. So, Gregory does have... Five, yeah, five chips he's drawing this, this turn. I have a lot of those green chips in my bag, and I really don't want to draw them, so I'm definitely going to take a wound to put mostly all these chips in my bag. So I'm hoping I draw all black chips and leave the greens and, pur greens and purples in there. The purples are okay, but I really don't want to draw the green chips. So here we go. First chip I'm going to draw is going to be an attack. 
And then we're going to draw into a green shield. No, no. I want to keep that in the bag. Another attack. So it's going to be two of the five. Three of the five. Another sword. Double shield, four of the five. And maybe just one more black, one more black. Yeah, a shield. Okay. That's not so bad. I, there's a lot of more green in there still. So that was a beneficial draw. Okay, likewise, let's see if we can plan for the future here. I, I want to use one of those attacks to do dash. I'm going to discard, spend one action point. I'm going to discard the next card from the Plane Strider. Okay. And then I would like, so that's going to allow my chain effects to happen. Then I want to do a preparation. So it's going to be a sword and a shield. And two action points to do that. I'm going to add the strengthen. And it's going to be chains. So I'm going to add two strengthen to his bag. Okay. Anything else can add to his ba bag? Let's see. I can the parry. Can I do that? And because my basic attack, yeah, that'll work. If I do my parry attack, it's going to spend the last of my action points. But I'm going to add a bolster, a green defense token, to Alex's bag. And then I'm going to play my single sword. I'm going to do a basic attack. So his basic attack is going to be four attack, looking at a strider. Strider only has two defense. Four attack, going to be two hit points. So boom, boom, he is gone. And we just won this battle. So this is my first time playing with these enemies. So let me share my, let's do a quick cleanup and then I'll share my quick thoughts on this game. Okay, here's the board state at the end of the battle. I, on the back sides of these enemies, it'll show you what you get for experience and what you get for a drop. I'm not gonna show you that because there's more for you to explore. Um, but let's talk about how this went. Uh, so basically that was the first battle. We would go back to the board and continue on to another node. Now. The important thing is your health, your equipment, all your chips and your bags stay the same. So while we're doing good on health, we're, we did good in this battle, uh, but that was only the first node. <laughs> Depending how far we're traveling, it could be like three, four nodes or something. So, I mean, I started at 22 health and Gregory's already at half health. <laughs> Alec is doing much better, but also Alec wasn't attacked nearly as much. So we'll see what happens there. But long story short, um, thoughts about this game. I love this game. This game is fantastic. It is excellent. The more I play it, the more I see it, the more I like it. I Now, to be perfectly honest, I did not play through the narration aspect of it. I've been mostly playing through to see how the mechanics work. Uh, so I can't really talk to the story a whole lot. Um, I've looked through the story a little bit, trying to see what it looks like. I have no concerns on that. I am... Love it. I love what Fortel has done. I've sent, listened to some of the audio. It sounds excellent. I think it's just going to be icing on the cake. So I'm not worried about that at all at this point. Now, mechanically, how the game works. It is very combat focused. If you're looking for an open world game without all the combat, I don't know. But if you like combat, it is excellent. It is, and the combat is really engaging. I've played against the same enemy multiple times with the same character set, even the same loadout. And it's felt a little different each time because of how the enemies chain to themselves. If you go look at the stream channel, I did another play of this with two different characters with a different enemy as well. And you can see how they played very different, how, how that whole all played out. Um, I, I really enjoy the intricacies of how each character works. Um, I played this both solo and cooperative. And for solo... There's a lot going on for sure, but it's I'm engaged in the whole time. I'm loving it. And same thing with so even when I'm playing with controlling one character, there's a lot of discussion going on. Hey, what do you need on your turn? Can I help boost you? Can you need healing? What's going on? Can you take care of that enemy? Um, how can we go around his his uh, abilities? Because that's the other big thing about this game. Like I came in this blind, so I didn't know what to expect. Uh, but now that I know that the Clayhorn could impale me, with Gregory's ability to discard the next attack card, you could do a little bit of card counting then, right? You'd be like, you know what? I have not seen that impale. I know it's coming. Let's try to avoid that by doing by dashing out of the way of the impale that's coming at me. Um, so there's a lot you can do there. A lot of different type of builds you can do. Because that's the important thing is, as you see each enemy, you'll learn how the enemies attack and how what their patterns are and where they live in the world. So you will actually have different 
abilities or equipment to, to, to combo together, be like, oh, you know what? I know there's enemies around the corner, and I know this one effect is going to be very strong against them. So before I go into that region, let's make sure I am I have the right equipment and abilities to deal with that. And then, you know, you can switch out later um, when you're in a different area, right? And so it's not like you're building and building these, uh, these, these heroes just one way, and that's it. No, you're unlocking abilities, unlocking and build, crafting equipment, and then using that as different, different strategies within themselves and switching it out as you go from region to region. Now, I said that this is a very combat-focused game, and it definitely is, but it doesn't say there's not combat in here. There's some awesome things where you can go, you know, I want to go mining and, and fishing, for example. And the cool thing about it is the different colored nodes when you go there, it, you're not going to necessarily have an enemy. You could go there just to mine, for example, which is really nice. Um, there's also different areas which are locked out. So until something happens in the story, you can't go there. And so it keeps, it keeps the world, despite you see the whole map, you can't go everywhere right away. Eventually, you will be able to do so. Uh, but honestly, like, it tells you a story, and it's open world. I can follow the quest. I could not. And so I decided to one night, it's just, you know what? I just want to throw a character together. And I just want to wander around and level up and, and craft some equipment. So it was a blast playing that. So if you like this open world type of adventures game, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, the combat is very engaging. Uh, I love all the intricacies of it. The bag building works well. Iconography is great. Uh, that so far the enemies I've seen are really fun. Um, there's a lot, a lot of equipment and stuff in there. I just, I mean, I've seen a little bit of it, but I don't even know how you acquire some of it. So it sounds really fun to, to unlock that and see how it works out. Uh, and I'll see the price point of this one is excellent. So I highly recommend, like I said in the early video, if you haven't backed this and it looks interesting, interesting to you, make sure you go to the pledge manager at the link below to back it because it is jumping up in cost. And it's going to be very hard to find this game. Like, there will be some retailers that have it because they probably backed the Kickstarter to get some copies. But I don't know how available this will become. So, but yeah, this is Isofarin Guard. It is awesome. I love open world stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the playthrough and we'll see you at the next stop. And I'm back. This is Steve. And we're going to do a continuation from the last play I did for the channel. So we're back with Grigory and Alex, and this time we're still continuing on our path. We came across two Tanami Raiders. So these enemies are a four attack, three defense, three action points, and 14 health enemies. And we've got a pair of them to deal with. So these come with their own AI deck. And in addition to that, we are getting ambushed. What does that mean? Well, it means they go first. <laughs> so there we go first. And in addition to that, we're not at full health. We've lost a lot of our stuff going through battle. We have some bad chips in our bag from earlier. So let's just see what happens now. So let's join me at the battle. So first thing is, let's have the rank, the one in the first little slot, this two number eight raider to go first. So he draws into a choose target, all enemies. So he's attacking both Grigory and Alec. Let's add plus one for this attack for each other raider in battle. Oh, great. So apparently he's going to get uh, for each other. So it's only a plus one, looks like. That's good. Um, and it's going to cost one action point. And he's going to get plus two attack. Oh, no. Oh, that's brutal. Because it's going to be plus two, so it'll be six. Plus one, seven. So seven attack. And he's attacking both of our heroes. Oh, wow. Okay. So seven attack. Yeah, seven attack. Two, looks like four defense. It's going to be three hit points. So one, two, three, down to nine already. Ugh. Ouch, 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 ouch. And then seven to our at to Alec, who's at two. It's gonna be five hit points. So down to thirteen already. So that was a hard hit from that first raider. Okay, let's see what the second raider is gonna do. Draw his card. Uh choose all enemies. Oh, you know what? He's gonna do the exact same one. Exact same ability. So all enemies, he's gonna get plus one. Um, use that one AP. So it's another seven attack coming at both our heroes. Wow, he's getting speared. So seven to Gregory's at four, so it's another three. One, two, three. This battle's gonna be over real fast. <laughs> okay. And then another seven attack to his two defense is another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, at eight. So just like that, uh, Alex at eight and Gregory's at six. Okay. <laughs> but they're done. 
and it is now up to us. Okay, so let's see. Who do I want to go first? I think I need to have Alec go first. Let's try to get him to give us some support abilities. Um, get some action points to Gregory so he can draw more and attack back. Because I don't know how long we're going to last with those types of attacks. <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, Grigory's going to be drawing two chips this turn, so let's go ahead and see what he gets. Okay, right, so the first chip we get is, oh no, it's an upkeep one, so all of our abilities that require action points are going to require one additional one. Oh man, okay, we get a sword, and a sword comes for one of our draws, and then we draw onto a purple, that's great, that's a sword and shield. That's, that doesn't count. And then we get into another sword and shield. Perfect. Um, that's going to help a lot. Well, actually, it probably won't matter. A healing chip, which is excellent. So it's going to bring us up to nine health. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And then we get a sword. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we got for those ability chips we can use. So I already increased this to nine health. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and put our health chip down there because I already used it. Um, our negative effect is upkeep, so that is going to be a pain to deal with. Um, and I got two swords, and then swords and shields, which is awesome, but I only have his two action points. And the, everything costs more, so that sucks. <laughs> That's really, that hurts a lot. Um, okay, I am going to do this golden potion, and it's going to require... Two action points, which is all my action points to do. And uh, Alec is going to gain one. And yeah, <laughs> I think that's basically all I can do. do. Uh, wow. Ouch. Well, I can do a basic attack. Yeah, let's do a basic attack. For, we can do that. So it's going to be a sword here for normal attack. Normal attack is four. Four. Um, I can attack either of these enemies because they're... they're there's no rows going on here, so I'll just tag this guy. So four to his three is one one hit point, so one damage to him. Okay. Um, I have one action point left. The rest of my abilities require action points. I could use my stone. I think I will. I think I have to. In fact, I might need to use both stones. Okay, so let's go look at Alex, Alex's stones. So he has reinforcement. Let's do that one. Attack one enemy for plus one. I'll attack the same enemy. So it'll be five attack coming at his three defense. So it's two hits. That's good. Um, and it's going to give him a defense boost, which he desperately needs. <laughs> so, And then the purification. Remove one negative chip from Alec and Ally's bag. So we're actually in the middle of battle. Um, we actually have some other things in our bags. And I know we should have... Yeah. I'm going to remove a poison from Alex's bag. And honestly, I think I'm going to remove a poison from um, Grigory's bag too. Because we got poison last battle. It was pretty nasty. So let's go ahead and remove those two. Actually, you know what? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm tempted because I have an upkeep as well in, in Grigory's bag. But I'll remove both those poisons and then we'll continue. Yeah, we'll continue on. Okay, so... That is it for Alex's turn. Let's go on to Grigory's. So Grigory is at, oops, he's at two action points. So let's go ahead and draw two chips. So first chip we draw is, oh yeah, strengthen. That was great. Okay, strengthen is going to help for a big attack. Um, we got just a regular sword, and then we do have another sword. Okay, so two swords and a strength then. Okay, so let's go look at what we've got here. Um, if we put the strength in here, we've got two swords. We do have two action points. Um, oh, you know what? I apologize, guys. These should have been on the primary size. I should have set that up before we started the battle. I apologize, but that's a good remind remind reminder. Every time you do a battle, you need to start the cards on the primary side first. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. I would love to do a chain effect, but I can't. I have no resources. And I have a plus one attack. I will use this advance. So, I will add a green chip to 
uh, Grigory's bag. And then that's going to require one of my APs. And then let's go ahead and do his primary attack. His primary attack is going to be at plus one for his strength then. So plus one, so it'll be at five. Five, let's attack that same enemy. Five minus three is two. So it looks like we're at nine. We're at, uh, let's see, is that, yeah, we're at nine. Okay. All right, knock him down, knock him down. Um, the other thing I could do, and I think I'm gonna do it because I do have the strength then, I think I'll do the cross slash. It's gonna attack all enemies for plus one. So this is gonna attack at plus one, plus another one, just plus two. It's gonna have a six attack. Six attack coming at him, right? And he's gonna be attacking both enemies. So this guy only has three defense, he's taking three more hits. One, two, three. And then the guy above him is taking three hits under under eleven. Okay. And oh, I don't like using all my abilities right away, but I feel like I need to. I mean, he's only at six health. I need to heal as much as possible. Let's do this eight provisions. Draw two chips and heal Gregory and Ally by one health each. So let's draw the two chips. First one I draw is a shield. That's perfect. And a sword, which I can still use potentially. And oh no, a poison! Oh no! Oh, there's the sword. Okay. So, um, I guess he's not healing himself because the poison's going to cancel that heal. <laughs> so, but the good news is at least uh, it's going to heal Alec a little bit. So Alec is going to go up to 10 health. Okay. So, with those chips, um, I have one action point left. Yeah, let's use this one to flip a non-active card. So let's go ahead and flip. Can I flip this one over? Oh, I can't do the effect. Oh, what if I flip this one over? Can't do that effect either. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do this attack for one. My last AP. Discard the next um, card from an enemy. So I'll discard one of those cards. And then it says attack enemy for plus zero, plus one. So it's going to be a 5 attack coming at the same guy down here. 5 attack minus 3 is another 2 hits. Cool. And then what I'll do is I'll do my adjust dance. That's my last one. Um, I flip a non-active card, which has to be this one. Um, and then I will chain into gaining an action point, which I really needed. Um, I can't use it, unfortunately. But that is it. I've got this leftover green sword. Can't use it for anything. And I believe we are done. So let's go ahead and reset our actions here. And we use all our stones and it's all we could. <laughs> okay. Move on to the enemies. <clears throat> this two this two Nami Raider is gonna go first. Let's see what he does. He is going to choose all enemies. He's gonna do the same thing. Oh my gosh! Oh no! I discarded a different card, which would have been oh. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, attack plus one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he's gonna spend one AP. He's gonna get plus two, plus another one. So it's plus three, plus three to his four, seven attack. Seven attack to Gregory, which has four. So it's gonna be three hits. So he's down to three hit health. Oh my goodness. And then going to Alec, seven to his two. So he's taking five hits, so it's down to five health. Oh my gosh. Oh, why? Why, why, why? <laughs> Here we go. Next one, be gentle, be gentle. No more spears, no more spears. Uh, choose target self. Okay, shield wall. Gain, oh no, he spent one AP, and he's going to gain a, a blue shield. So what that means is if you look at the defense value, we'll put a blue cube next to it. So it's a temporary boost. Now his defense is actually at four, um, uh, not three. Oh, speaking of defense boosts, remember when I did reinforcement? I got plus one defense. I should have taken less damage on that spear. So let's go ahead and fix that right now and give him one more health back. <laughs> okay, I apologize for that, everyone. All right, let's go back to our enemy. So that is a shield wall. Um, get that until the start of next turn. Reform. Spend another action point, and he's going to draw a card. So that's what he does to combo. 
Okay. Uh, self. Surprise assault for zero. Gains a green action point. Um, it looks like he gets... Uh, oh, he gains an attack? And draw a card. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is this in the deck? This is horrible. He's at five attack. Okay. Um, draw a card. We'll keep, we're still doing the combo. True self. If another raider has zero health, which does not. Death honor, so he's not doing that. Um, otherwise, reform. He's going to spend an action point, and he's going to draw a card. Okay. Choose all enemies. Oh, this is probably it, guys. A attack. Add plus one for his attack for each other raid in battle. So he's one other. Plus two. And he's going to... He does have an action point because he gained that green one. So he, he can do this, this spirit line again. So that's going to be plus two. He's at five now. So it's seven. Plus another one because another one there's eight attack. Eight attack to his four defense, four hit points. Gregory's dead. Go to Alec. Eight attack. He does have plus one defense. So it's actually three. So he's taking five. He's down to one life. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that hurts so much. Okay, Gregory died. But we don't necessarily lose all of his negative stuff in the bag yet. It will happen if both characters die. Because if somehow Alex pulls us off and survives... Doubtful, but if he survives, then then uh, Gregory come back at one health and we continue on. If Alec does die as well, then we'll respawn at our last save point, and all the negative our bags will reset. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Okay, well it's up to Alec. Alec currently has three action points. Um, oh wait, let's let's finish. Let's do the cleanup first before I forget. So this uh, comes off the board. We no longer have the upkeep, which is great. That was a horrible draw, but at least we got rid of it out of our bag. Um, this healing goes down. And then these two effects are going to go ex to the exhausted spot. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this chip, too. That gets discarded, too. Okay. Okay, Alec. You can draw three chips. You have two enemies to take out. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> hey, you know would be a really good idea? If I took a damage to put all the chips back in my bag. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay, here we go. A sword. Um, let's see what I get next. A shield. Got one more chip to draw. Oh no, another upkeep. Oh. Oh no. Hey, evade. There we go. There we go. That's something that's gonna help. That's gonna help. And then an attack. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to pull this off, guys. I really don't think it's happening. <laughs> oh, let's go down to this board down here. Um, he does have his upkeep. He does have his evade. That's gonna be a nice boost. So I have two swords and a shield. Ah, I think it costs more. I I could do a standard attack, and I could do one effect. Is what it comes down to it. Yeah, that's what it comes down to it. Okay, I think what I need to do. Oh wait, wait, I can make this work. If I do this. Golden Potion, I spend an action, but I gain action back. Yeah, I think that's... I spent two actions, sorry, because upkeep. Is that worth it? I don't know if it's even worth it. I kind of want to do it, just to like build up, to do more. But uh, he's going to die. <laughs> he's going to die. Because um, I can do... I can add health to his bag. Or I can do a standard attack. My standard attack is four. Um, I can't even hit the guy that's supercharged. I can only do one damage to the other guy. There's no way I can take him out. It's only one damage. Yeah, I think I'm thinking about SOL. So uh, what we'll do is I'll instead... Well, I gotta, I gotta try to go for the kill. I gotta do, right? Let's do the, let's do the attack. So that's gonna be uh, four attack. Going over to this guy here. He's got three defense, that's one hit. That's what Al can do. <laughs> okay. Enemy turn. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and reset our action points real quick. Let's come up here. We refresh all those. Um, now let's go back to our enemy. Okay. He is going to go first. Choose self. Surprise assault. Gains a green action point. And he gets additional attack. Oh, this is, this is it. And then draw a card. Yep. Draw a card. So here we go. 
Uh, Stormwall gain for one action. He's going to gain a shield again. So we talked about that earlier. So he is going to gain one of these blues. Um, reform. Spend an action point to draw a card. Okay. We get to here. Highest defense, which is definitely going to be Alec. Discard all shield ships from target's cards. Oh, interesting. I do have one shield ship on this card here. So that gets discarded. Um... Shield Barge, two action points, which, going back to our enemy, he does have two. Spends those two for plus two attack. Two attack plus his five is seven. Seven, looking at, oh, wait. We survive. That would have killed us. Seven minus the two is five. It's way overkill. But, 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 Alec does have evade. Boom, look at that. So we do the evade effect. So he dodged that Shield Barge. Okay. Well, he said, hey, he's at one health. Can he can he survive this next guy? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait, he loses the shield, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Uh, highest attack, aggro attack, discard all shields where I did that. Oh, there's the shield barge again. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't forget to reset this. Sorry. So two, two symbols. It's going to be seven attack to his one defense. Super, super dead. That is another dead hero. So yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> Battles are rough. They can be really rough, really fast. But like I said, I came into this battle. I wanted to show you an example of a battle that was not coming at in a refresh state where I wasn't like just coming from in a full health, really good bags. I had a lot of bad stuff in my bag, a lot of good stuff in the two, so good mix. And um, first time playing as Raiders, and they were rough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. By the way, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at a continuation of battle, and I see you at the next stop. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.